With head coach Brittany Bennett following uh, softball split against Francis Marion, uh, game one was a thrilling 2-1 victory for you guys. Mallory, uh, you know, she worked through a lot of jams in that game. What do you think made her successful working through a lot of base runners? Well, first of all, um, for those that follow us and, paid, you know, have watched almost every game we play or watched live stats, you know, we just came back from Georgia Southwestern, and I think Mal, in the past, she just really hates sticky situations. She tends to, to struggle in those situations, and she just absolutely came to shine today. I mean, she has thrown, I think she's won the last five Peach Bowl games that she's thrown because she's just almost untouchable. They put the ball in play, but it's just outs every, all day. I'm just super proud of her. Um, she's grown up so much. It started over the summer, and I just honestly, I cannot speak enough about her. I mean, right now, I think Mal has everyone's back. She always has, but now she can do her job and do it well. And I think she should really take, we should take some time here just to talk about how, how well she's thrown. Uh, one run games have been a bit of a struggle for you guys this season. What made you successful in game one and what, you know, happened in game two to let the game slip away? Well, um, last weekend we won 1-0. Um, and then we've lost, I think, Queens 2-1 to one, and then 6-5 to five in the second Georgia Southwestern game. So, yeah, I think one run games are one hit away or one, one shot away. You know, you get the right hit at the right time. You get uh, one of those, like, far, um, I call them duck farts, uh, one of those balls that just kind of bloops over your middle infield. Well, that's, that, that changes the game if there's two outs because runners can freely run. So I think in just one-run games, it's really, one, who scores first and how you respond, and then how long it is before you score. Like, they scored early and then scored again. I think if we come back and put a run on the board maybe in the fifth or maybe even the sixth, I think that, we don't, that, that game doesn't get away from us as much as possible. You know, it's hard to hit when you're behind, especially by five runs. Um, you know, we don't give up five run innings too often, but um, that one stunk. But I'm just really proud of Reagan. She gave us six really good innings of ball. And um, once again, it's just a little bit too hard to overcome there. Uh, you guys have won primarily this year using the bats. What did it mean really in both games to have very dominant pitching and win that way? Well, honestly, I would tell you that um, unexpectedly, I think that she really, the Francis Marion pitcher that pitched most of the day controlled a lot of the game. She really knew where she wanted to throw it in her zones. And sometimes you you actually can just, I'm just glad we, we, we scraped by with a 2-1 win there. I'm super impressed that we found a way to get it done. So I actually feel really glad that we came away with one there because we just kind of struggled against her all day and hence she threw I think I think she threw four, uh, 11, 12 innings <laughs> today. So I'm just I'm just glad we got one. I mean, obviously I'd always like to have two, and I hate to be down to two one going into the sixth inning. But like I said, if this kit this team just keeps scratching and keeps scratching, I think we'll be all right. Uh, with the season coming down the stretch here, you guys after splitting the doubleheader still find yourselves in eighth place right in the PVC tournament. How do you kind of maneuver down the stretch here, kind of looking at the schedule, looking at the standings? Uh, I don't think we look at those anymore. I think we're um, I think we're trying to play our game as best we can. I think early on we did that and it, it just didn't work well for us. And you know I think if we just talk about each doubleheader and go game by game, I think we'll be just fine. So for me personally, um, I know that this team is just doing one. They're just trying to take one doubleheader. A time and as long as they keep doing that I think we'll I think like I said I think we'll be just fine. Well thanks for your time coach and best of luck the rest of the way. Hey yeah and I just wanted to say since it's our last home game uh, just shout out to our crew. Um, I don't think anybody knows how much goes behind the scenes to get this stuff set up. Um, we have one of the best productions in the Peach Belt and I'm super proud of it.